Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where um, the future episodes are going to be significantly reduced because I'm going to reduce uh, my recordings down to... Because I got to start playing ahead for Thanksgiving because the family wants me out and I'm, I'm family's nowhere close to my house. So I'm not going to be able to record. So, uh, yeah. So um, we'll see what we can do with that. We did get a little extra science and let's kind of contemplate on what we want to go for. Because um, we do have solar panels in which we can start getting a little further out. But we do need these heavy lifters. Once we get the heavy lifters, we can actually... Um, well, actually, we have the fuel, so we'd only need, I think, one more mission to get the extra amount that we would need for this. Like, this would be nice for the decouplers and such, because they're larger decouplers and such. <laughs> um... So, but they're not necessarily mandatory. So, yeah, let's do just a mission. And I have a couple tourists already. Uh, the Minmara Cider. Um, I did get all of my pilots or all of my uh, astronauts up to the highest level. We're just going to brute force a encounter and... Uh, with both the moon and Min Minmus, because this thing just has an absolute ridiculous amount of fuel. Like, every time I've flown it. Um, I think the biggest uh, brute force one I did left me with still, like, a 15 to 30 second uh, retrograde burn to slow down when re-entering the atmosphere. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, this thing has plenty of fuel to um, just brute force a, a um, encounter. So, so let's uh, get up to um, up into space. We want to be on the prograde. Um, actually, there was one time I accidentally left that, uh, deployed the entire mission. Uh, one of the, uh, ones I ran, uh, off screen, which is why we have as much science as we have now, and how I know that this thing can just brute force just about any encounter. Um, the trouble just comes into trying to hit the moon on the way back, because... It gets a little dicey at that point, but um, the thing is, it's so easy to change your direction when you're so far away from the uh, planet that the burns are so small that it's really kind of not, it doesn't really impact at all the uh, encounter, so, or the amount of fuel we have. The requirement the heavy requirement is actually getting to Minmus. So, um, so that being, oop, oh, okay, <laughs> orbit, please. Actually, let's uh, drop this, hold it over a little. The main problem about it right now is just that, um, with it being that slightly off balance. It's hard to move it left or right without it um, repositioning the up and down. Because if I, say, just tap right real quick, it'll reset the SAS. It's like, no, I kind of want it the same level, just a little over to the right. And it won't do that um, without dropping it. So it's really kind of irritating. <laughs> Um, not quite that deep. Come on, a little higher. Right, no, a little higher. A little higher. Right, like right about there. 
That way we get lateral speed without actually going back down. <laughs> um, actually, the moon is almost in a very good place to hit. The m main problem is, is that Minmus is way over there. Oh, actually, maybe we can. Maybe we can still do a gravity assist for that. Um, we will see, actually, in a moment here. We would have to immediately, almost, or at least almost immediately start um, burning for the moon. Because once it gets to that 10 degrees, that's uh, about the normal burn point. And remember, we have to start burning early. So it might actually be towards where it is right now that we'd have to start burning. Um, so that is a thing. Um, we are getting a little low, so let's uh, lift this up and see if we can't stall out that countdown. Um, as we speed up to orbital velocity. I forgot to clean up a little. Oh wait, this one. Oh no wait, that's... Somehow this one escaped. Usually all of the boosters with how I've been burning into the planet have burned up. This one though somehow escaped. Cause like it's periaps is like so low. Where is this periaps? Um actually it's going through its periaps right now. See its altitude is like in the planet. There needs to be a mod that will actually have these loaded in the background to re-enter. If it has no command pod. Oh gosh. I was not paying attention. But if it has no command pod and uh, no probe and is has a peri apps that is within the atmosphere, it should just like auto load the um, the vessel so that it will burn itself in the atmosphere because really you it'd be so hard to recover that um it, it'd be so hard to recover that you could recover it but early game it's just junk that's flying around that you would get rid of anyways so anywho let's see if we can't where's the moon yeah we're we would have to start burning right now if there was a chance so what we're going to do is we're going to put the maneuver node behind us so that um, we'll just do it on the next go round if that's the case and see how that like goes out towards Minmus now the problem is is that we're too high um, can we get Minmus as a target um, we are very behind it at that point though too um, we would need a correction burn to try to get more towards it um, or just hit the moon sooner, maybe. Um, and we don't want to be a oh, whoa. Okay, we cannot slow down really any. This is a gravity, or this is a slingshot, after all. And it does not look like this is actually reducing the uh, it very much, if at all. Oh, because we're not on the ascending or descending. Okay, you know what? Then we are just going to see if we can't do a burn from here. Can we get a good burn towards Minmus? No, we're going to miss Minmus. Oh, uh, <laughs> if I can find the right keys. Um, can we do a good burn for Minmus from here then? Because... Though... Okay, so where are we going to be if we just burn right there? Um, very much so ahead of Minmus. So let's try to meet Minmus. Um, we burned just a little bit longer. Oop, <laughs> we went out of range. 
Um, how out of range, though? Do we just need to go down a little? Or is it up a little? Down brings us closer. Just like that. Okay, now that we have our Minmus, is there a way to hit the moon right after? So we will try to get a maneuver node in here and then set the moon as the target. Um, let's see here, we're gonna be behind it, it looks like. So even if we went over like that, that's not gonna do much. We just need more speed to kind of catch it. Uh, maybe a little over, a little speed. We would just need to speed up so much. Well, we have an encounter right there, but then we're leaving the uh, system. <laughs> um, let's see if we can slow down. Oh, God, no! <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Um, we're coming up on this maneuver node too, so we're gonna either have to take it or um, uh, set min miss as the target. Oh wait, no wait. Uh, that was the moon's. Never mind. That was the moon's uh, ascending node. Um, let's replan this out. Whoa, too fast. <laughs> oh, actually, we couldn't just do a burn to get out there. That's not much worse than uh, to the moon. Without much finagling at all. <laughs> I like that. So let's have that one rather. Then add a maneuver node here with the moon as the target. And it will be on the opposite side, so um, we want to slow down because we want to hit it on the other side. Why did it deset that as the target? So let's kind of widen it while at the same time slowing it down because we have a huge periaps too so so there we are we're almost to it we can be going a little faster so if we pull that back a little bit and then slow it down some more pull it back a little more slow it down a little more pull it slow it And will it come around? There we go. And the periapsis afterwards is actually fairly decent. So there we go. We have a brute force to hit both. Um, I will redo that one um, just because it's not going to be the same, obviously, as where I am now. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we will need to flip to close to prograde, so I'll put that into the commands immediately. I don't know why it goes off to the side like this. It's like the quickest direction would have just been straight across the um, thing, but I guess not. Um, we do have to get burning at 40. F at 40? I think 40. So we need to be on this maneuver node like now. <laughs> And go. <laughs> we just like barely got there. Um, but yeah, so that's actually a pretty nice maneuver because it's only going to be a couple seconds after uh, um, after we get there. So 
uh, just settling on that maneuver node a little bit better. It's only going to be, but yeah, it's only going to be a couple second burn right after we leave. And uh, we'll get a very nice periapsis out of it. Um, maybe even better because remember, once we slow down to uh, start just kind of inching into the orbit, maybe this periapsis will be lower and we won't actually have to go that far. Um, but anywho, let's get through this burn first I just find it amazing that how much this actually goes out um, when uh, you get there right there and that is actually pretty much right on where it was saying um So let's, yeah, seven second burn once we get onto this side. So let's actually set that up again real quick right now. The moon as the target. If we just expand it out this way a little bit and slow down a bit. We should be able to just slow down more can we slow down more <laughs> uh, expand it out a little that way to pull it around that's right we had we had it whoa yeah slowed down like that <laughs> okay well now that we have our next maneuver node let's get there so warp and uh, this is actually a pretty easy way of doing it for all intents and purposes. Intents and purposes? Not intents and purposes. <laughs> intents and porpoises. Narwhals, narwhals. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're stopping right there. <laughs> um, anywho, man, we are moving so slow. This is like the very outer limits of uh, where you can actually get to. Like, how high are we? Uh, that doesn't say do we not have one of those oh there we are we are at 60 m million meters wow that's even beyond the uh radio range of the, those antennas that we were trying to eat, throw out this way so then we get through that and then we go to the maneuver node of which is nowhere close to the Pro grade, apparently. <laughs> mm, slowly, slowly. And we are still about an hour out from it, so. Oh, hey, that's interesting. It's on the retrograde of the moon, or it's op it's facing away from the moon. The concept is, is that you can tell um, that you can usually get to a celestial body by either... Um, facing it or burning towards it or burning away from it and in this case it seems like burning away from it is what will actually get us there let's just inch in on this uh, maneuver node okay we need something like a lot closer than that three minutes 44 seconds that's fine that'll leave us with about 12 seconds left oh 50 something seconds left okay, we need to get down to four so and right about here and burn and halt Ooh, whoa okay that actually actually i think that might have done better because our what's our periapsis our periapsis is actually closer we uh, just like, yeah, that's getting us closer. Okay, that's not getting any closer. <laughs> All right, let's burn on to the other, s or warp to the other side. And then we will 
Uh, just do a correction burn to get us into the planet. And then we'll warp there, and then that will be the end of the episode. Um, but we got to get there first. <laughs> okay, so let's burn um, technically retrograde to our orbit. Not our... Not retrograde to our prograde, but our retrograde to our orbit, which will actually reduce our uh, periaps. I, and I think do that without reducing our... No, it's doing stuff to the Apple apps too. Um, but this is the easiest way that I found. If you don't know which way to face, just face... Um, uh, retrograde to the direction that you're orbiting Kerbin and you can typically uh oh yeah look at how much fuel we have we're gonna we're gonna be almost able to stop <laughs> before we re-enter oh dear um I'm making the orbit worse though we're gonna be almost polar oh right there and let's warp over to Kerbin then just like right there. And we'll be around that really quick. And like I said, we're going to be able to kill our orbit like instantly almost. So we were only moving about 70 meters per second up at the top there. <laughs> uh, we will want to face retrograde. Uh, let's get a little bit closer. And we can do just a nice water landing. We can land wherever. Um, this plane has done really well. I think it was because that wheel was inside of the other piece that the previous one exploded. So, um, but yeah. So we'll start burning now because we have a ton of this fuel. It'll take almost 40 seconds to get through all of it from this point right now. So... Um, so yeah, let's watch this periaps drop like no other as we have just fuel to spend. <laughs> but yeah, so we are now inside the atmosphere too. Yeah, look how small we're getting that periaps. Like we're, aren't, we're definitely inside the moon's orbit. We're still going. Can we actually kill the... We're at... We killed the periaps. We are going down for sure. Um. So, that way we don't have to worry about these boosters. Um. We do need to start slowing down, but we should... And I left them deployed the entire time. Actually, I do kind of want to face up, tell the truth. Uh, let's uh, face it that way because we are going whoa that was close <laughs> and that's why I wanted to kind of get out of that before we got too deep but um, but yeah the reason up why I want to face up is because we are actually going to go pretty deep pretty fast so we want to slow down pretty fast there's actually some land over here that we might be able to land on so, uh, actually, we will try that because we will slow down in time to uh, be able to fly over here. So, um, but like I said, we do want to slow down. Let's actually rotate the thing so that we are going downwards a little. We do still want to stop, though, so we do still want that like that. I can't tell which direction we're moving necessarily, so I don't know how the how this is supposed to be uh, kind of angled, but we will do a near full stall, just drop straight down to about, I would say, three kilometers, and then flatten out, um, and that way we will uh, actually hit that pretty well. Um... That is to our south, I believe. So, 
Um, but here we go into the full stall. And then we will we'll try to hit it in that direction because that way we're not going to have all these little water pits to have to deal with. So if we turn it in the correct direction, which will be that general direction. Yeah, that's south. And then we drop in. This would be like the freakiest ride because you would slow down so hard and then just free fall for like the next what is this like 30 seconds okay we are getting into the lower atmosphere let's level off a bit because we do want horizontal movement at this point because we're not over the land yet so we don't want to be going down too far so it's a little off we had to start leveling off at about 6,000 um, we are still going in really fast. We'll deploy these to slow down once we know we're ready to uh, land. We'll put the, that over there, though. Lock that on there. Um, we are about to be over land. Oh, we actually have a shadow already. Are we actually that low? We are. Ooh, imminent landing. Uh, we want to kind of land up there rather so um, let's level out a bit um, and get actually we need to be a quite a bit lower too though at the same time um, although I, it looks like we're coming in pretty well we'll deploy these now I think we're ready to land so Let's start air braking. And a little too fast. <laughs> uh, let's get down to level then. Down to uh, pretty close to the ground. And that is pretty close to the ground. We'll deploy those. And then get really close to the ground and level off the our drop because what we want to do is we want to let the slow down uh, get us down to a point where we are moving just terribly slow and uh, just gentle touchdown just like that and ta-da celebrate okay they'll deploy once uh, we go back up in the air which we're, we're not actually going to so uh any got anyways guys thank you for watching if you're enjoying the series please do leave a like and do subscribe so you can catch the next episode as it comes out like i said there won't be any the of these the tuesday before to the tuesday after thanksgiving so um yeah so yeah um if um Please do com or leave a, if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please leave those in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye.